Yeah, here's some updates for you. You got the cab off, so that's sold. And uh, I'm gonna end up keeping this thing because I have a place to store it. And uh, I got it stripped. All the stuff that that can all come off. I'm gonna go ahead and replace everything on it. New rack, new brakes, springs, everything. So I got some big news on this, but it is gonna be a hot minute because I'm not in a hurry to do it, but I do want it to, uh, I'm gonna clean this thing up and see where we can go with it. Cause you guys were wondering why I took the VIN numbers. Like I took all the VIN numbers off this cab. So we're gonna end up swapping the frame on my truck. So this, was, this is a dedicated 3,500 frame. You know, it has the, uh, all this stuff here has the independent front suspension of the 3500 so that's why because basically i'm going to use the vin numbers from that on the original frame so it'll be a 3500 and uh no it absolutely does not make sense to do it it does make sense to buy another truck and put a 12 of in that instead but that's not how i'm going to do it and i don't care then we'll get into it later on uh why i'm not posting videos really anymore but that's for later so he's going to come down here we're going to flip this thing around and pull it out the back and I'm going to take this to the yard. And uh, the only thing I haven't taken off was the bump stops. So those are the only thing yet that need to come off. And the fuel feed and return lines all need to come off as well. But I don't know which one's the feed and which one's the return. Because I think the feed we're going to get rid of. And then the return is I'm going to have to run a separate line back into the tank. Because we're going to run a sump on it anyway. Basically everything from the black truck is going to go to this. It might take a year or two or three before I do it. But. It's nice to have this thing around. This is a completely unmolested frame. And I'll have to cut this off for the wheel lift. So I'll get all those. Probably plasma cut that at some point. And then the only other thing I did was that hanger right here, which isn't going to be necessary. I'm going to grind that down as well. So there you go. Everything's here. Fully independent front suspension. I didn't want an independent front suspension at first. I like the strength of the solid axle, but this is just the... Uh, so the route I'm gonna go. I want my truck lower. I want it to sit. Yeah. A lot of work, but you'll see a video on that in like three years. All right, so for the guys wondering why I stopped really posting videos, uh, daily vo videos for the most part, uh, I'm still gonna be posting every now and again here and there, but basically the main reason is it was something I enjoyed at first. I enjoyed doing it. I've done it for probably four or five years now, daily vlogging for like the past, I don't know, I'd say a year, two years, something like that. And at some point it just gets old and you got to realize that the time put into the videos really doesn't pay for itself for the amount of work it actually is. Um, pretty much the whole last year I lived off of it. Like that's what I used to pay the home bills. And then I just used Hotshot to fund itself and basically fund the videos. And yeah, it was great and all. But at this point in time with other means of income between hotshotting, between shop work and you know, the little bit of ad revenue that I still get, um, it, it's really not all that worth it to me to sit here and just post every single day. It's a lot of extra effort. Um, and it is what it is. You know, I'm still, like I said, I'm still going to post. I still answer everybody's questions. I still, you know, I still have the email and all that stuff, but as we get the business going and everything, it's just, it's something that I'm less reliant on and everything else is, you know, making enough money to, basically say I don't have to do YouTube anymore. Um, I don't have to do it. I still do it because I enjoy it. I do like to post videos every now and again, but to do it every single day, it's just, it's a lot of effort. Um, people don't see that, you know, I'll, I'll video or film for like two, three hours a day on top of all the other work. And then I'll sit at home and edit for two hours a night. You know, who wants to come home and edit after, you know, 14 hour or 10 hour day or something like that. You come home, you got the kids running around, you got to answer emails, you got to do all that. So ultimately it's just not, really all that worth it um and that's basically what you, under, you guys got to understand but this question was asked enough and i figure i just need to address it at this point um not abandoning anybody or you know doing any of that i'm still here to help people and whatnot but for what it is um i have plenty of stuff scheduled um still working on getting a uh waste oil pretty much refinery i don't know what you want to call it um just we're, we're accepting oil, let's just put it that way. Oil, ATF, you know, anything that's burnable that can go in the tank besides coolant, um, I'm accepting it. 
So I just ordered a pump yesterday so that I can go to local shops and whatnot and take all that because with the fuel prices being 650 a gallon, I'm still a local driver and I can basically run all of my loads for free and drive the truck around for free on waste oil. And there's people that think, you know, it's probably not the greatest for an engine, but people also don't realize that I paid $1,500 for this engine. So it's really not all that bad. And if I ever have to go and replace one, it's like it's, it's cheap to rebuild or cheap to go buy another one for 2500 bucks and throw it in yes inflation has unfortunately hit the used engine market so whereas i was able to get them for 1500 bucks last year or even earlier this year it's the prices are up a little bit so it's like it's around about 2500 dollars to get a used 12 out you know in decent condition so this one's got about 335,000 miles and i'm still running straight waste oil i did have to put some in the tank the other day um helping a customer out um it was like $415. It got me 65 gallons. And I'm like, yeah, that's uh, that's ridiculous. So I'm not going to do it anymore. Um, we're just going to keep running straight waste oil whenever I can and getting diesel as minimal as possible. It is what it is. Just unfortunately, if I go a little bit too far and I can't find any waste oil, then that's how I'm going to have to run it. But that's the gist of it. So <clears throat> business is doing good. Um, still waiting on LLC should be done by the end of the month. And then we can start going for the MC number, which is great. So the whole company will be up and running. I'm not going to tell anybody plans, future plans or any of that stuff. I'm just going to play it by ear and see what happens. Um, I'm done at this point giving out plans and ideas um, just because at the end of the day, it doesn't make sense because when you want, when you need content, you kind of have to keep going and pushing that stuff. But now it's like at this point, I don't need the views and I don't need the content, so I can pretty, I'm can i free to just pretty much post whatever I want, um, which is great because you guys get the raw, real world, here's everything, lay it out, but it's like it doesn't matter if there's drama or not, so, you know, at this point, I don't have to say, oh, the truck broke down, and it's like, you know, when I can run stuff and just do local stuff here and there, it's like it's not really a big deal, so super cheap. Um, and yeah, still working on going and getting that trailer. We just haven't found anything down to Tennessee worth it. So I'm just working up here in uh, Pennsylvania, doing the shop stuff, doing trailer work for people, doing hot shot, like everything. Just business is booming enough to, you know, keep it going. So we have some shop work scheduled that is going to be big stuff that I will post. And then other stuff that's like boring that I'm not really worried about. Um, it, it, it'll probably never make it into a video now for uh, truck updates i'm waiting for them to get back because we need to tow this thing um we're all set up for pintle two and five sixteenths two inch got the fifth wheel i just went and cleaned it off because fleet pride decided to grease the shit out of a lube plate that doesn't need greased and then we got the gooseneck plate which i got to use the other day which is nice so and then we got the air compressor and all, everything's all lined up here we're going to get a separate pump because i'm going to be able to we're going to use the box truck um for like barrels like that and we'll be able to uh you know have our fuel and whatnot so i'll have a separate pump that will not be like one of these because you know this is only usable on one thing and it's kind of a pain the other one it basically just has a hose that goes down so that's what we're doing um unfortunately there is diesel in the tank at this time but it is what it is shit's expensive everything's expensive price is going up anything i do is paying over two bucks a mile as a power only and then when i go get my trailer everything's you know three four bucks a mile no exceptions and it's nice with shop work i don't have to worry about having to do hot shot but it is the option is always open and uh there is a dba coming for the for the automotive side so we'll have all that set up i'm going to keep the logistics side and the automotive side separate from each other because that's what makes sense just for shits and giggles i got the frame i got uh chains on it they're all set and secured ready to go i can take corners all the lights work somehow got it down i gotta pick his cone up but yeah so yeah there's zip tied i'm gonna tighten this one up a little bit there we go so i'm gonna order another set because those aren't the greatest but it's ready to go Get this thing dropped off. I'm gonna. I might take it to the car wash first, wash it up, and then we'll go from there. See if I can get pulled over on the way for some reason. But steering's locked. I got the rack here. You guys will see, and it's all. It ain't going anywhere. So all that stuff's gonna get replaced anyway. So that's why I took all the lines off and shit. But 
forgot to grab everything out of the shop. All right, told you guys, I'm gonna get this frame all cleaned up and nice because underneath the cab was kind of dusty, you guys can see. So, perfectly clean frame. Finally got these lights to sit without falling off. But I'm gonna get it all clean. Not worried about getting water and any of this stuff because we're gonna be replacing this whole rack and whatnot. So, new tie rods, new wheel bearings, new knuckles, new everything, even springs and whatnot. So, not worried about it. Brake lines will probably end up replacing. The reason I got rid of the brake lines was because I'm gonna use. Um, All right, so now I gotta run that down High Street and hopefully not get pulled over, but the thing is it has lights, it has safety chains, it is hitched with a panel hitch, and I'm not sure what else, the steering's locked, I'm not sure what else I could add to it other than if it had a license plate, I'm sure it would be legal, but tow trucks do shit like this with unregistered cars all the time. So you can still see my license plate on the truck, which I thought about moving the license plate up higher, like on the cab, so that like when I was pulling sketchy shit, but I don't know, we'll see. Because I know our tow trucks, when we had them, it would always, like, it was always up on the headache rack. But we'll see. Hopefully, don't get pulled over. Um, but yeah, fuck it. Oh, well, here she is sitting. I showed you guys what the engine color is going to be at some point once I figure everything out. But man, find that camper over there. It came with these jacks here. And uh, all I did was drop the air suspension, so now I can pull out. But that's uh, how she's sitting. So. Got it cleaned up for the most part. You know, there's little spots here and there with surface rust. I'm not gonna, you know, get rid of any of that. But I did, uh, no, look at it. It always looks like it's cleaner than it is. I should probably go and give it a good pressure wash again, maybe with the degreaser, but whatever. I'm not in a hurry to get this project started by any means. It's, like I said, it's probably gonna be a good year or two down the road. But now that I'm not worried about views and any of the revenue coming from YouTube it's like you just kind of like relax for a little while and focus on the business I think they're coming for this thing tomorrow which will be great so I'm getting paid for this tomorrow and it's going and then they just need to figure out the key situation but and then a turbo at some point so hopefully once he gets out of the hospital he'll be uh, using this thing for work and uh, I'm gonna Tomorrow I'll go over that for them, and then this thing, this thing will get cleaned at some point. Oh, so pretty much. The more successful the business gets, the less I want to post on YouTube. Because, like, I can do like some of the cool projects and whatnot, but like, I know a lot of YouTubers that have had problems with being a hotshot and um, DOT and whatnot. And it's just like it would be nice to put the business out there just enough to get business, but not enough to ever have to worry about you know, certain aspects. So we're gonna go hop on and grab some fuel filters. I got some shop stuff to do today, not to my truck, but customer stuff. And then, I don't know. And I think we're we're prepared for uh, leaving Thursday. I'm leaving, not tomorrow night, Thursday night, I think. No, Wednesday night, Thursday. Uh, I think it might be tomorrow night, actually. I think I'm leaving tomorrow night. I, uh, I need to go get me some oil so I can run this trip. Cause I'm gonna run it tomorrow we're gonna pick up on Thursday morning, and then we'll be home Thursday, and then I will drop off on Saturday, and I'll hopefully be home Sunday, so finally gonna see Maine. The reason we're back at this thing is because they're going to end up putting it up for sale, so if any of you guys are interested in this thing, please let me know. Um, the owner, the guy who's I've been talking to, I've been you know, he's been paying me to do the work. Uh, he's actually in the hospital, like I said in one of the previous videos. The truck has 172,000 miles. They did say that he may not make it. Um, we're hoping he does, but in the off chance that he does not, um, they are going to need the money. So if you guys are interested in this, they are going to fix the ignition switch before it sells, so it will crank and fire. Um, the only other thing it'll need is a turbo and a coolant sensor. But that's about it. Um, 
and a fender flare of course but if not we're gonna end up towing it down to Maryland you guys can see everything that's you know been done to it it's a pretty clean truck now that he did a very good job getting this thing cleaned and detailed if you guys saw how this thing looked before so like I was saying I don't want to give you guys a ton of details on his personal life but they did ask if uh, I wanted to post this thing for them you know you guys will see uh, here's the engine compartment um, like I was saying if you look at the uh, the coolant sensor and then this coolant sensor they don't it doesn't actually plug it plugs in but it doesn't actually touch the terminals so that was the one issue and then the uh, ignition switch which like I said they'll take care of but everything else works it runs it drives um, he got all the wheel covers on it it has a full exhaust minus the fact that it's spitting oil out the turbo but they're relatively cheap probably get a turbo for 350 bucks and then we'll uh, we're gonna figure out what to do with the stuff in the back because some of that stuff he does need so I'm not sure but there you go Maybe one of you guys will be able to help them out. They owe a little bit yet on the bill, nothing crazy. And it's, yeah, pretty much ready to go. So I have a power only tonight going from Ohio to Maine. So I'm gonna go grab that uh, in the morning. I'm gonna leave tonight around like eight or nine-ish. Grab it around eight in the morning. So then I'll be able to tow this out uh, next, I don't know, probably next week, maybe Monday or Tuesday, take it to Maryland. But it's unfortunate. It is a tragic event. But yeah, if uh, anybody, if anybody wants to help them out, I figure one of you guys have the reach. It's completely done, minus those couple of things. I do have the fender arches, but again, I would like to drive it around first before you know, so that you guys can see if there's like any leaks or whatnot. But all in all, it's a it's a good looking, decent truck. I would have bought it, but I have no need for a second one. Um, Especially, yeah, it just I don't have a need for a second four-wheel drive. Yeah, I'm gonna get going on the next uh, next project. So we got a bunch of stuff. Like I was saying, I have not been uh, posting at all because I've been busy. We got hot shot work, we got shop work, we got pretty much you name it. I've just been super busy, and um, I might film a little bit for you guys for another video um, of me going to Maine and Ohio and whatnot. But that's gonna be about it. So. I'm just kind of like focusing on the business now as opposed to like video quality and and output. So we'll, we'll get back to that at some point, but I, I don't think I'm ever going to go back to daily vlogging um, ever again at this point. The more successful the business gets, the less I really want to put out there, but I will also be, uh, you know, I'll, I'll post the cool stuff, but yeah, at this point going forward, I'm not super worried about the views or the, or the subscriber count going up. Just the guys who've been here for the longest time, I appreciate those guys, especially the guys who've been here since like the channel got hacked and started over. So awesome to see you guys still sticking around. All right, well, Liam's on the pump. We're back here, I ordered this. Looks like we got about a quarter of a tank, free fuel. How we're doing Hi guys, so I'm on my way to Ohio right now. Just dropped Liam off, so we're about seven and a half hours from Ohio. We're gonna pick up there. Now, I need to make this part of the video because it's super important. I told you guys earlier that, you know, nothing was looking really all that good, nothing was promised. Um, unfortunately, uh, my customer, you know, the guy that I've been building this truck for, he did end up passing. He needs the truck sold, or well, the family needs the truck sold to pay for all the expenses that's gonna come with that. So I appreciate you guys. If you could put that out there, if it hasn't sold already. Um, I did post it up on my Instagram, but I'm gonna post it here so everybody understands. Um, they put it up for about 10,000 or best offer. Do what you can do. Um, other than you know the bed damage and a little bit of damage on the backside, needing a turbo, a coolant sensor, and uh, they're gonna do the ignition switch. Other than those three things, truck's pretty much good to go, uh, ready to be worked, but it just, it is unfortunate. You know, you guys say we need to down in the comments. I appreciate you guys for helping out where you can. Um, I'm gonna go, I ha actually, you know what, I can. I can show you guys, we're headed to Ohio now. I have five 55 gallon drums, and a blue one, that's 55 gallons, and then a 35 gallon right here. So I'm gonna be picking up a uh, crap load of oil for a customer of mine. 
So I'm gonna be picking up about 450 gallons of oil for this customer um, when I get back. Um, I'm gonna pick up first, and when I get back to Johnstown, I'm gonna pick up from him. So if you guys, anybody local to, uh, you know, within 100 miles or so that has a ton of this stuff, let me know. Um, we are accepting it and um, willing to come pick it up. No charge to you guys. And um, it helps me out, helps you guys out because you don't got to pay for somebody to get rid of it. So appreciate you guys. Let's uh, let's get to the rest of this because this is probably going to be a little longer video. But yeah, it's a 42 foot park model bumper pull. So this will be fun. All right, so I made it. It is 645 in the morning. I could have been here a little bit earlier, but you know, I don't have to be here till eight. I just had a deer run out in front of the truck. I'm gonna wait until these guys get here, I guess at eight. So this is what it looks like when you're trying to service two customers at the same time. Um, and I was gonna come here and I'm like, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll find my trailer early in the morning. And then I realized that uh, I ain't gonna find that trailer in that mess, holy hell. So it's a bumper pool. Uh, I'm gonna grab that and then we're gonna siphon up about, uh, I think 450 gallons of waste oil because I am picking it up for free and it saves customers money. I guess he said it was like a hundred, uh, I forget what he told me it was, but it, it was quite costly to get rid of 450 gallons. Let me tell you that. So I graciously will get it for free. And the only reason like it, it would have sucked to drive out there cause it's like Johnstown. So I'd have to drive from like, it, it's a pretty good distance. It's a couple hours. I can actually grab it on the way back because it'll only add an hour to the trip. But for 450 gallons, if you look at how much diesel fuel is at like 650 a gallon, I think it was like, that's $2,700 worth of fuel to me. So, cause I can get like a thousand gallons, a thousand miles out of a tank, but I'm going to sit, I'm going to sit here and write this BOL up and um, try to see if I can't locate my trailer. Yeah, this was honestly one of the worst experiences I could have dealt with was this place. I'm not going to mention where I'm at, but they said I could pick it up at 8 and it's almost 11 and I need to be in Johnstown by 5 and that's going to be physically impossible now. So we're going to be picking up here in a minute and unfortunately um, I don't think we're going to make it. Hopefully he can, you know, stay a little late so I can pick the stuff up, but it's gonna be damn it's gonna well actually realistically i'm not gonna be able to make it there by five i can tell you that but i just saw the forklift guy move one uh a fifth wheel so hopefully my trailer's right behind it but there's been like three or four other transporters in and out already and they weren't even prepared like i was so it's yeah that's ridiculous oh we found it finally getting loaded because the forklift guy's gonna get that one out move this and then we can pull that out Oh my goodness, yeah, this will be this will be a fun one. I'm already late. Alright, temporary tag is on. We are good to go. This thing is massive. I'm gonna grab some pictures of it before we leave and we'll get out of here. Alright, a little louder out here, but I do uh I do gotta stay at a truck stop tonight because I can't really I can't pick up my oil. So I'm looking at this thing. I took a reserve spot because I figure I'll pay for it. Temp tag, Ohio. There you go. This thing is huge. And the truck does not like it. It's been a hot minute since I did one of these. I don't know what the deal is. Um, I think I have the nose down a little bit. I hate these Dodges. They always like the hitches. And the rear bumpers always kind of like sag a little bit. That's just normal. But yeah, so we're good there. I'm gonna pick up my oil at eight in the morning. Pay for this reserve spot, get some food, take a nap, call it a day. Hopefully nobody backs into me, but whatever. All these semis, reserved parking, reserved parking. I don't see a single pickup in here. Reserved. Oh shit, there's a pickup. All right, so I just got every one of these barrels is full all the way up, okay? This is full, tank's full, everything's full. 450 gallons of oil. And I'd say she squats a little bit. Like there's not much room. 
let's see how the oh yeah the bags are basically pancakes so i'm gonna get this thing filled up uh, i don't know if i told you guys i did have to lower this too last night because i had it all the way up and it just was super sway happy <laughs> 